friends here we have the math center of the week it is one of the greatest activities you can do at home and you can just do it mentally so the materials you are going to need depending on what you need but you can just use a seat protector and this decomposition number decomposition house probably you remember from second grade we are gonna work with this one this is the level one you also will need one or two markers if you are playing by pairs it's a good idea to have two different colors so you can know whose whose turn is this is the level one and this is the level two we also work with them in second grade but it's a good activity, a great activity to remember the place value and practice some addition, subtractions, and everything. I'm gonna explain you. And maybe you need some counters. These are this works great because you can put them together. And probably you can also need your blocks. So have them ready. And maybe I need a piece of paper or a whiteboard, something like that. Why we use the seat protector? Because that way we can use the same worksheet so many, so many times. Last year in second grade we printed one copy and we played with this worksheet for the whole year. <laughs> so if you don't want to draw it and draw it once and again, once and again, just print it once or draw it once and use a seat protector and a dry marker. We are gonna start little by little, reviewing. If you already know how to do it, you can maybe start with a harder number, but I want you to explain from the beginning. We need to pick a number, <coughs> sorry. A great number to start is number 10. Maybe for some of you are, it's easy, but even if it's easy, you can fill the house super fast and choose a harder number. I'm gonna start with number 10. What you need to do? You need to write a number here for your partner. And your partner needs to think the number that goes here. The number that goes here is a number that added to the eight makes a 10. Eight plus, I'm not sure, I'm a little slow today. Grab your blocks or your counters. You can use beams or everything, pr probably everything you have at home to do the activity. So I have eight. My partner put number eight. I'm gonna form an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, just yes, <laughs> done. Um, if my partner puts eight, how many more I need to arrive to 10? Eight plus one, nine. And ta-da, I have my 10. How many more I put? Yes, two. And now it's my turn. I'm gonna choose a number for more for her. Five. How many more I need? to arrive to 10. Pues in this case, I'm gonna use my fingers because I have 10, so they are perfect for that. Five, if you can do it mentally, great. You don't need anything, much better, but just in case you are not sure and it's your first time, you, you can use counter, it's the way we learn. We see, we touch, and then we understand and we can just do things mentally. Five, in this side, how many more to arrive to 10? five more and so on and another good idea is to use the answers you you had before to think about your new challenge for example if I have a seven seven is similar to eight and if I know that eight plus two makes ten seven plus mm, makes ten seven is one less than eight 
So if I here, I have one more than seven, it means that here I need to have one more than seven. So, oh, sorry, than two. So one more than two is three. Easy, busy, lemon squeezy. And so on, okay? Imagine that you, just don't. Oh my gosh, this is so easy. Choose a different number. Uh, 57. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to write 50. I'm going to be kind. <laughs> mm -hmm. 50 plus 7 makes 57. But my partner is a little naughty today. And he wants to write mm, 42. Oh my goodness! 42. In this case, you can use your blocks. Let's use the blocks this time. A ver, 42. And I need to arrive to 57. So 57 will have two more times. And how many more ones? I have two ones and I need seven. So five. And if you are not sure, we, I don't know why I used two colors. <laughs> 25. If you are not sure, turn your paper or use a whiteboard and check it. Is 42 plus 25 57? Yes or no? Ones together. 2 and 5. 2 and 5 makes 7. It sounds good. Parents, if you are watching this video, please try to do the additions horizontally. They are used to it and they are great. And they can show a deeper understanding more than vertically. Vertically is more automatically, automatic. And horizontally, they need to use place value and all different mental strategy. Two and four. But it's not four plus two because it's a 40. It's in the 10 position and a 20. 40 plus 20 is 60. Oh, oh. 60 plus 7 makes 57. Mm. I was wrong, but I can fix it. I don't need a 60. Now I know that it, I need a 50. So I need one times less. Fifty. How to see? And now I'm gonna do it super fast. <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, what I do is down here. Fifty. Fifty-seven. Tada! So, okay. It's good to have mistakes to learn. Doesn't matter. It's a. It's the process. It's how our brain works. Um. And so on, okay? So on, so on. <laughs> if you think level, level one was fun, but I want something more challenging. Let's use the level two. Worship. This is more tricky. It's the same game, but with, it's in Spanish, tens, decenas, and units, or ones. And we have more room here to write something. So let's just start with number 100. 100. Here is the same because they are units, unidades. But here they are not units as they were before. They are tens. So I need to think a little bit more. Hmm. Imagine that I have seven tens. How many more units? Do I need to arrive to 100? My partner is in trouble. But you have this room to help you. 7 tenths actually is 70. 
and 70 plus something needs to make a hundred. Maybe you already know. Let's grab some blocks and see. Three times here. Ah, no, three, no, seven. Seven. And here I can see the difference between 70 and 100, the number that I need to arrive. So how many more ones I need to add? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty more. Thirty more. Why thirty and not three? Because they are units. With more examples, you are going to understand better. And it's true, 70 plus 30 makes 100. Now it's my turn. Um, five tenths. Five tenths. Five tenths is 50. And I need to put, to make 100, I need to put 50 more. Easy. And it's true, 50 plus 50 makes 100. Now, um, one for my partner. Two. No, actually. Twenty. Twenty ones. So you can write here or here. Twenty. Something plus twenty needs to make a hundred. But I don't need to think about this number because they are we are talking about tens in here. I know that eighty plus twenty makes a hundred. The same way that a eight, eight plus two makes ten, but I know I cannot put just an eighty because they are tens, not one. So, how many tens are in eighty? Eight. You see? And um, now it's my partner's turn. Ten ones. Well, same thing. Something plus 10 needs to make 100. And I know that 90 plus 10 makes 100 because 9 plus 1 is 10. But I cannot put just 90 because they are 10s. So how many 10s are 90? 9. Or a tricky one. 10 tens. Ooh, how many 10s are how many ones are ten tens? Ten of these will make well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I have ten tens, are they? Ten. Ten. Ten tens is a hundred. So how many more I need to arrive to a hundred? Zero. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Do you understand? And if you think, okay, but what? Well, this is tricky. It's not easy. But if you think, oh, but this is not, I, I got it super fast. Pick a different number. Instead of a hundred, you can use 120. And it can be more challenging or 122 and even more <laughs> okay but remember to write terms that can make sense well you will see you're gonna do it great and practice at home and if you have free time during next week keep going and keep practicing have fun Mwah. bye bye